Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. I'm going to be showing you in this video how to get the any utility top with any open jacket for your female character using a component transfer glitch. So I'm going to be showing you these components that you use on the male character, how to transfer them over to the female character, and then how to put together any vest with any, sorry, utility vest with any open style jacket. I do want to give a enormous thanks to my, I swear, my savior T for finding this, telling me about this, and giving me permission to share this on my YouTube channel. I've created some really cool outfits with this on Instagram and Twitter. You can go look at those if you need some inspiration, but I'm going to also show you one in the video, give you the full components for that, and then you're just going to see me testing some components in the background too because I wanted to make sure they were still working. So the top that we're going to be putting on to actually make the outfit first is going to be under shirts, and then we're putting on the brown short sleeve shirt. You also have a bunch of different options if you're looking for components here. They're already on the component list. They have been forever. You've got these, which equal the biker jackets. They equal the newer style ones that have camo prints, but you also can get the adversary colors, which are orange, pink, purple, and green by using these components. So the outfit that we're going to be creating is going to also have white joggers. So for that, we need tan striped boxer shorts. And then we're going to be putting my new favorite shoes to wear with joggers with components which is gonna be the scuba shoes. We're gonna do the white scuba shoes and the component for those is going to be under rubberized boots and it's the black and sand rubberized boots. So you can go ahead and save this outfit if you're wanting to make it just like this, but the important part here is to have this brown short sleeve shirt on top to be able to create an outfit with any vest and any open jacket. And then I'm just gonna quickly run through, like I said, and test a bunch more components just to show you that these jackets do transfer because I've never actually showcase them on the channel in their own own individual video because they weren't really that spectacular but they are different and they are a little bit nifty if you haven't done this before so you have a bunch of options here pretty much when you've got the solid co colored ones they're going to equal the adversary colors and then all of the camo print ones equal the same color camo print in the biker jacket for the female character so do whatever transfer method there is currently available. You can find that in the description as well as the component for the outfit that I'm showing you as well as the full component list as always. So what we're going to be doing after the transfer glitch is just simply showing you the outfit. So the first two you will not be able to click on. Those are actually both of the ones that will transfer as invisible that you can use to do this glitch. The rest transferred as the four adversary colors and then like I said the camo colors that correspond to the actual style and color of the shirts that we transferred over. So if you're new to this glitch, I'm gonna walk you through this. If you're a veteran, you already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up the first or the second outfit in Crooked Cop, and this is a versus job. You can do this with one friend, you could just join a random thing, but as long as it's set to player-owned clothing on the confirm settings screen, that's all you need. That's the necessary part here. So I just joined up, spawned into some random person's thing because there's a lot of people doing that right now with this glitch. And then when you do load into the job, you'll be on an outfit selection screen. Just simply select the outfit that has the invisible chest and torso. You'll see it. I'm sorry for the band-aid. It makes it a little unclear here, but you know, a lot of people have been asking. I'm using a modded account. I don't want anyone to report it. That's why I'm trying to cover up the name for this glitch because I'm spending a lot of money testing components. But you can clearly see everything is invisible behind it here. So you're going to do what you normally do here. You're going to open up your interaction menu. You're going to go to style, accessories, gear, put on a rebreather. If you're not wearing something checkered, you can simply just put on a mask, but I always do the rebreather. Then once you do that, you're gonna open up your phone, quit the job through your phone, and you're gonna load back online with the default jacket. This is not what we're looking for. So to edit this outfit, we're gonna now start a mission. We're gonna do a Titan of a job. Any contact mission will work, but this one works just fine. You will only need to do this by yourself. This part is solo. And then you're going to load into a Titan of a job and you're going to head to Ammunition. When you get to Ammunition, you want to go under the tops section, go down to Vest or Utility Vest. And this is where you're going to select the style of utility vest that you're going to be glitching together with an open jacket. Absolutely any of them will work, including these newer camo styles, which is the real bonus with this glitch. These look really nice. It's, in my opinion, almost better than just CEO armor. So when you do select the style of utility vest, you'll see that that jacket glitches on. But the little bonus here is that now you can scroll through any other style of open jacket, which I'll show you here in just a second, and they glitch underneath of the utility vest. So you can do suit vest 
or sorry, suit jackets. You can do biker jackets. You can do denim jackets. You can do track jackets, overcoats, leather jackets. There's so many options. Pretty much anything you can do, the no bra glitch, is what you'll be able to do to merge together or to add together with this utility vest. All the new work jackets work, the bomber jackets work, some of the tactical jackets work. It really is just your preference on what you wanted to put together. I don't normally prefer the super glitchy stuff, but I do like the way that this looks over specifically the track jacket because it completely goes over it. So for this outfit, I'm doing this white camo utility vest and then I'm gonna add under track jackets, just the white track jacket. But I do want to just quickly scroll through here and show you a bunch of different random styles of tops this will work with. I also tested this with hoodies, some of the open hoodies. It did not work with that. So once you do have your outfit selected and what you wanted to wear, what you wanted to save or merge together with this vest and this open jacket, just save the outfit. You can quit the job through your phone. And when you load back into online, you will now load with that outfit you saved in the mission. If you do mess up and you wanted to change this or something weird happens, as long as you don't close application or switch sessions, you should be able to go right back into a mission instead of starting Crooked Job and then a mission and edit this outfit and select a different style of utility vest. So instead of repeating the whole process, just go right back into a mission. You'll have that invisible chest again, and you can just make different outfits with this. Uh, I honestly made at least six or seven just using the invisible top. I didn't even use joggers for everything. And you'll see here when you do load back into online and you have this outfit, you can change it. You can add gloves, you can add masks. You can add hats, you can add duffel bags, parachutes, whatever your heart desires. You can even change the pants on this, change the shoes on this. It will not cause that top to glitch away like the actual body armor or certain items like that do now. So I hope you guys liked this video. I have been waiting to show you this for a long, a long time. I, I was trying to do this for the male character. It does, I believe, work with the deadline outfits. T said that she got it to work with the male outfits that way by transferring um, a female deadline outfit over to the male. But I believe you can do a glitch like this for male without even doing components. So if you're familiar with that, leave a link to someone's channel. Maybe you've got a video of that of yours you want to leave a link to. In the description, I'll approve that and post that as a pinned comment. But please drop a like, subscribe, of course leave me lots of comments, and I'll see you soon with more glitch videos.